Well, hello there to all of my Aquarius, all of my water bearers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your moon prep video. This is your, I'm going to give you a recipe for a cancer moon bath that you can start doing tonight. And you can do it every night if you want to, whether it's a bath, a stand-up shower, whatever your situation is. I want to help you glide into this new moon phase. It's a new moon in cancer coming up. Uh, on the 29th of this month, but you'll see that on the thumbnail. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. The energy has already been cleared, Aquarius. If you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, I am talking to you. That will make you open-minded, a humanitarian, creative, free-spirited, intellectual, progressive, independent, unique, friendly, and very powerful Aquarius. Keep that in mind, right? So um, any moon in Cancer energy is really about feeling nurtured, feeling mothered, um, uh, feeling nourished. Uh, cancer is a feminine sign, right? It's ruled by the moon. The moon never goes retrograde. It moves in phases, right? So we have eight major moon phases within a cycle and we're still in a cycle. We're in a phase. We're in that last quarter moon in Aries phase currently as of today. And so that's what I've been saying. Ram through those emotions, finish strong. So a lot of d uh, dreams are being downloaded. Um, I'm looking at this right here. We have the, the judgment card, the world card, right? So this is where you're going to learn how to nurture yourself, nurture your emotions. Uh, new moon in cancer is really about awakening the story of your childhood and how you were nourished and nurtured. That's even if. Some, some people weren't nourished or nurtured during their childhood. I want you all to keep that in mind when you're dealing with other human beings and not really knowing what their backstories are and why they are the way that they are, right? But first, I want you to consider yourself, right? Put yourselves first, right? This is the world card and this is the judgment card. Somebody is going to have to keep a very high vibration, like really rise above low vibrating energy in the workplace, in the home, wherever. You're going to have to ride, learn how to really find, go deeper within yourself, this is no judgment of anybody else and what they may have gone through in their lives and whether they were nurtured or not nurtured or whether you were nurtured or not nurtured. I'm trying to help you finish strong because dreams are coming through. It's a lot of visions that are coming through for everybody right now because we're getting closer and closer to this new moon in Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon, which never goes retrograde. The moon is alignment with our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, our intuition, right? So that moon feeling is very strong and your intuition is even more heightened, right? So a lot of downloads could be coming through, but I want you all to take your power back. Here we have the Page of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Something that you've been going through very challenging is coming to an end. I need you to raise your frequency, okay, Aquarius, so you can see exactly what it is. Right now is the time for you to not get into daydream state, to be scared, nervous. I need you all to be very, I want you to take your blindfolds off. This is part of your nurturing process because during this new moon in Cancer, we can really give ourselves what we may have lacked in our childhood. So if, if you lack, you know, kudos or attaboys from, you know, a mother or mother figure in your life during your childhood, even if you did and you're looking for that and maybe your mom has transitioned or grandma has transitioned, right? And so you're just looking for that warm hug. You're looking for that nourishing, that nourishing or that nurturing right now. I'm going to help you learn how to do it for yourselves every single day so that you're not looking for it outside of yourselves at work or in your romantic relationships or your friendships or anything like that, okay? Take the blindfolds off and I want you to see where you are right now at this very moment. If you're working a job, that came from source. It didn't come from the whoever the company, the owner is. That came from source. If you're if you're healthy, that came from source. Everything that you start focusing on, what your ble your blessings are, because something that you've been going through a difficult, challenging time is coming to an end, right? And so, free yourselves from this bondage in your mind of only focusing on the bad. I need you all to start nurturing yourselves, right? Because I'm seeing you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. So that means you're changing your mindset if you're working for someone else and you don't feel nurtured there. People aren't giving you kudos or attaboys or pats on the back or even any kind of acknowledgement whatsoever. You're going to learn how to nurture yourself, right? So this is where you become your own mother, nurturing, compassionate, giving, right? 
but also assertive and protective if you need to be of your own energy. You can be your own father, practical, resilient, persistent, systematic, taking care of your physical needs, creating structure, right? doesn't matter if you grew up in a two-mom two household or two-dad household. We're talking about divine masculine and divine feminine energy, right? So when I say mother and father, I'm not talking about just the gender. I'm talking about divine masculine, divine feminine energy, right? I see you balancing out your daily affairs. So a lot of you all, if you haven't started your own brand or your own company, I see you learning how to do what feels nurture, nurturing and nourishing for you. Again, being um remember we talked about during this phase of expansion you releasing something in order to make space for something else you're releasing you're you're not giving whoever is not giving you a pat on the back whoever is not nurturing you or whoever is not nur nourishing you whether it's a significant other whether it's a it doesn't matter your your manager the company whatever you're not you're taking the blindfolds off and you're looking at your life. This is where you're nurturing yourself. I'm trying to help you fall on the bright side of the Cancer Moon. The bright side of the Cancer Moon for everybody means you're more imaginative, more sympathetic, more protective, tenacious, loyal. The dark side, which you have to go back and repeat a pattern, a cycle, would mean you become more possessive, more moody, more critical, self-pitying, and nagging, right? So who wants to go back to repeating a, a, a cycle when you, you've worked so hard? That's why it's so hard. That's why it's so, um, so important that you finish strong. Like, you got to remember why, what you asked to expand in your life. And somebody has been trying to expand their brand, their business, their wallet, you know, the, the tools that's, that you need to change other people's lives you got to look at the big picture okay i want to help change other people's lives i know good and well i'm not letting these people on my job stress me out and make me feel depressed and sad over them not nurturing or even recognizing me right you got to remember you got to see the big picture some of those people that you work with were never nurtured some of them are still grieving the loss of their mom or dad or both right so again, those may be areas where they're dry. And remember, cancer is a water sign. And so you just being professional in the workplace, you're not coming off as needy. You're not coming off as clingy because you just need you know, them to confirm or validate you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You don't need any of that because you, know, you now know how to nurture yourselves. Here's a recipe for Cancer Moon Bath, right? And you can do this every single day. You do not have to wait for the 29th to do this. You can do this tonight, wherever you are. If it's nighttime, you can do it now if you want to. You want to get a half to a, a cup of Epsom salts, right? You can even get the liquid Epsom salt, right? Um, a few, um, Also, a few drops of lavender and rosemary oil. You can do this every single night. I don't want everybody to get so robotic. Oh my God, I got to do it tonight. I got to do it or else, you know, the whole world is going to end. That's not how it works, right? So a few drops of lavender and rosemary oil. Also, a rose quartz or moonstone. This is what a rose quartz looks like. This is a rough uh, rose quartz. I do have a smoother stones, but I have my stones positioned around my house. So, again, that's why you only see three. The crystal, the, the um, amethyst, and the rose quartz. And then, um, like I said, so you want to add everything to a warm bath of water, including the crystal, right? You want to put all of that in there, right? Because this is these are very, very powerful. These stones are very powerful. That's why it's so important to charge them during the full moon. And if you don't get a chance to charge them during the full moon, you can charge them at any time, any any night. Don't get stressed out all over the, over that. Um, you want to light some candles and play some soothing music. You can just type in soothing music online. I don't want people to get robotic about this. But what, do you recommend any soothing music? You know what soothes your soul, right? And if you don't, type in soothing music, right? On YouTube, it's free, right? You want to stay in a bath or shower 15 to 20 minutes and just breathe. Just take some deep breaths. Just like really just, and then, um, you know, let yourself float, right? So even if you're in the shower, you close your eyes for a minute and just imagine yourself just floating on your back, just in a large body of water. You know, even if you're in a bathtub, of course, you're not, you know, you can just kind of sort of lay back and close your eyes and imagine yourself just floating on in a body of water, right? Um, just feeling protected, looking at expansion. Okay, there's a lot of people that I wanna that I want to. This is your time, which is you and source from within. I, I want to um, 
I want to hire a lot of people. I want to, you know, support other people's businesses. I want to do all these things. So again, the more and more you start focusing on the things that you said that you wanted to do to really nurture and nourish you, the less of energy you're giving to people who haven't nurtured or nourished you, right? It's also going to help you to release those energies into the universe along with the feelings attached to it so that you can expand, right? So that you can expand. You see this money card right here, right? I want you all to remember money comes from source. The energy of money comes from source, right? So don't worry about, you know, I, I'm not getting paid a certain amount of money at work and, the, and I can't pay my bills and that kind of thing because this money, the energy of money comes from source. Just practice these things, right? And so when you finish after allowing yourself to float, you know, in your mind, seeing yourself in a large body of water just floating when you finish watch as the water drains away and visualize old energy draining away and being absorbed by the earth right that old energy you're just washing it away you're just removing it you're releasing it right you're releasing it yeah all right nice okay here we have, very, very nice, we have the Empress card and we also have the Hierophant card, right? Somebody is going into a rebirth, not giving a whole lot of attention to the energies at work within your organization. You're not giving a whole lot of energies to people who have tried to harm you at all. You're very protective in learning how to nurture yourself. You'd be surprised, Aquarius, how many people felt unprotected in their own family, how vulnerable they felt in their own family. That's why new moon energy is so important because it's your time of rest, rest and to manifest. Think of those two words, rest, manifest, rest, manifest. You're planting those seeds of intention of what you want to manifest during full moon phase, right? Right. So somebody's coming to the end of something of feeling like they were emotionally being burned. You're stepping into your own light, right? Stepping into your own light. So even if you don't like your job, for instance, emotionally, they can't touch you anymore. They can't touch you anymore. Right. And so I said somebody coming to the end of a long and arduous journey. It's going to be this simple for somebody. And, and what kind of whatever kind of relationship where you feel like you were constantly burned. It's going to like a light bulb. It's going to somebody's going to feel like, wow, um, I'm enlightened. The more energy I give them the more power I give away. The less energy I give them, the more powerful I feel. Remember, cancer is the I feel sign. So if you are an air sign, if, you're, if your sun sign is an air sign, that's, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this cancer moon is going to give you intellectualism, give your intellectualism a magnetic, daring quality. It means that you have the ability to touch other people's lives. You ever see people in the workplace where everybody else is stressed out and some people just seem cool, calm, and collected. They just seem real cool under pressure because they've already decided, they've created a ritual, whether they did a ritual at night where they did this, this moon bath ritual. Remember, it's a cancer moon, but it, and it, the new moon is a cancer moon, but cancer is already ruled by the moon. So you can do this literally however often you need to. You don't have to just do it during that seven-day period or just tonight, right, in preparation. You can do this every single night if you want to, washing the day away. Come home from work, the stressors of the day, this is how you nurture yourself, washing the day away, right? But again, I see somebody coming to the end of a long and arduous journey of emotion where you it was ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs. Someday you felt inspired, someday you felt burned out by certain things, right? But again, I see you coming to the end of a long and arduous journey. Emotionally, somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot because you're starting to figure out, I'm not looking for those people to nurture me. But somebody has to remember it started in their childhood. Somewhere it started in your childhood where you felt like emotionally you just weren't nurtured or nourished. That's why you care so much about people, you know, giving you kudos and attaboys and pats on the back. When well, you're gonna realize, I don't need it from them anyway. Somebody's gonna feel very magnetic, happy, and free. Here we have the Queen of Wands. Somebody's gonna feel a lot better. Your intuition is extremely heightened right now. So again, 
when you start to consider that again some people didn't get hugs some people the parents never told them that they love them some people could be adopted some people could have been abandoned all sorts of things this is not the time when you said, well, they were, you know, I've, I've been giving to them and they never gave back to me. If you've already decided to sever ties with certain energies, sever ties with the emotions attached to it as well. Like I said, if it's at work, because I'm looking at this higher font card, if it's at work and this, the idea of going to work just makes you just throw you out, throws you out of balance. You have it within you to organize that by raising your frequency even higher. Again, you're still being professional. Hello and goodbye. You're not cowering away from these people. Hello, goodbye. But because you see what you've been craving is coming from source. And remember, creatively, your ideas, you are so tuned in. This is like a pregnant woman. I'm talking to men and women cancers. You're so tuned into people's emotions. You, you almost feel sorry for people who because you can see right through their emotions. Remember the moon. This is a full moon, but we're coming up on a new moon. The moon is aligned to our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, and our intuition. Water is your creativity, your emotions, right? That's right there in that sacral chakra area right there. So develop, go swimming every day if you want to feel. Take a bath. Take a shower. Have some running water. Get excited when it rains outside, right? That's water, everything. Listen to meditation music with water sounds in the background. But this is about you learning how to nurture yourself, awakening the story of your childhood. Even if it wasn't the best childhood, this is how you imagine your childhood to be. This is how you are giving your inner child that time, that do-over, right? Yes, that's what you're doing. You're giving your inner child that do-over, even if you didn't have the best childhood, right? So again, you're making your world a lot more nourishing and nurtured because, uh, and, and your world, your universe, and everybody that approaches you or steps into that, um, they just feel nurtured. So uh, you're not going to be, you're not going to be, like I said, um, this is where you're focusing on a deep, committed love relationship with yourselves, right? Love relationship with yourself. And Rose Quartz is good at forgiveness, good for forgiveness, forgiving other people. It's great for self-love and also um, 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 attracting new love if that's what you want, if that's what you want, right? So yeah, I can see a lot of you all taking the time to really, really um, focus on that that moon bath, that cancer moon bath, right? And again, you can do it every single night. So let's see what else we have here. We have the king of wands, right? Yeah. Some of you all are going to start your own businesses and you're going to be the leader of that business. Just like the company that you work for right now. Some of you all work for companies where you're not getting a lot of kudos and pats on the backs and that kind of thing. A lot of you all are going to see, okay, I can see right through that energy and why that energy is as hurt as they are, but I don't have to operate in that space, right? I can just continue to be professional, but I don't have to over give because I need that energy I need that energy to go towards what I'm building for myself creatively, right? So you're very much in touch with other people's feelings. I want you all to remember cancer is the money sign and it's also the mother sign. That nurturing mother sign, if you have cancer in your chart, may have been the reason why you were over giving because you think about a mother, when you're thinking about a mother at its highest frequency, you're thinking about someone who is nurturing and compassionate and very giving also assertive and protective right and not wanting to let that person out of your presence until you have completely nurtured them to send them out into the world a good person so that's the humanitarian in you aquarius just and so again this is where you're not being clingy and low vibrating by just holding on to people and allowing them to pour toxins into your water i see that coming to an end right so you don't necessarily it's not that you don't care you it's it's more of like a being on a compassionate level like something must be something must be really wrong for a person to know that you're doing your absolute best and they have not one good word to say they just and so the more and more you gave them your power the the weaker you felt the more broken and dry you felt until you realize hey wait a second I'm a water bearer. I'm an air sign, but I have access to my own water here as a water bearer. That's why people assume that Aquarius are cancer. I mean, are, are um, water signs, but you all are air signs. Um, 
with that water you're holding that cistern of water so you're not spilling that water just everywhere okay all right so yeah i do see things getting better for you immediately just because again you're finishing strong and you are releasing those emotions attached to people who have burned you right and so like i said something is coming to an end very very soon and you're going to feel like somebody hit the jackpot now, if you actually hit the jackpot, Aquarius, great. I think that's wonderful so that you can continue accomplishing your task. That may speed up the process. But again, only way you're going to see that is if you ascend to your highest frequency, like really ascend to your highest frequency. So this could be something, too, for you all to maybe go get a haircut, you know, get a manicure, a pedicure, something that's going to nurture your cells, like moving forward, nurturing your cells. That number five right here lets me know it's a very pivotal point in your lives, but this is where you're going to learn how to nurture yourselves, okay? This is where you're going to, have to learn how to nurture yourselves. Let's see what else we have here moving forward. Let's see what else we have here moving forward. Yeah, but somebody's at the end of something. Somebody's at the end of a, um, and not just because of the date, but you're coming to the end of a cycle, um, and there's a lot of lessons to be learned in learning how to nurture yourself. When you think about, like, let's say, for instance, you didn't have a, um, you know, nurturing relationship with your parents in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you're constantly looking out in the world looking for people to validate you or to... Um, to validate you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you felt just rejected by everybody or whatever and not even realize... Imagine... Imagine being so, giving out so much of your emotions and your knowledge and your creativity and people pouring toxins or not even saying thank you. And then one day it hits you like a lightning bolt. Oh my God, I have access to my own water, my own pure water. Instead of me looking for people to say thank you back or to pour, okay, I now I'm, 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 a, I'm learning how to adjust. I'm learning how to adjust. I have an enormous amount of creativity right here within me, but I also have extra creativity here. I have extra emotions I can pour out to people who appreciate it, right? So again, some things are shifting and changing for you, Aquarius. I love it, love it, love it. Let's see what else we have here in your cards before we close it out. Again, this is your pre-new moon in Cancer. This is your preparation. This is your preparation. So you can take those moon baths tonight if you like, those moon showers, you know, tonight if you like. Page of Pentacles. New money is coming your way. New money is coming your way. Like I said before, I mean, get ready for it. Just ascend higher because you're having those, those vivid dreams and those downloads. So I'm trying to help you all to stay focused. Source is really, really trying to... The Source already knows how compassionate of a sign you are, Aquarius. No matter how many people say that you all are emotionally detached, you know how to. But no matter how much people say, that, oh, Aquarius, they just... It's because, remember how powerful you all are. You're an air sign, but you have access to water. That water bear, that you're a water bearer, that's, that cistern, that's knowledge, that's emotion, that's creativity, that's all sorts of things, right? So go through this rebirth smoothly. Go, to, go into this next space smoothly. And again, if you didn't have the best relationship with your mom, whether she's still here in this realm, your mom and dad or whomever, um, and you didn't feel nurtured to some degree, this is, this is how you're going to nurture yourselves. You're not going to go in repeating a cycle. Here we have, I am a leader, the number 28, right? You are a leader, right? You are a leader. Here we have the number 28, which reduces to the number 10. 10 is the number of instant manifestation. Go watch the other channel. That link is below. Here we have, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. That's right. That's right. I do see somebody in a leadership position, whether you're in a leadership position. And, and even people who have not given you kudos and attaboys, they see you as a leader too. You're just going to have to rise above that frequency and do things to nurture yourselves. And almost it's going to give off the, the energy that I don't really care whether you all give me kudos or pats on the back or even say thank you for a job well done with all the effort that you put into it it's almost going to give off that energy that you don't care it's not that you don't care you have channeled your energy into yourself you've started to drink from your own water and stop pouring out all those emotions to them you're learning how to take your power back you're learning how to take your power back some of you all are going to learn how to stop taking your job home taking all the emotion home because it's 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 you know it has affected every area of your lives and your relationships so somebody's going to stop doing that and again 
if if you know you're going to learn how to nurture mother yourself mother and father yourselves but this is what i have for you aquarius kudos to each and every one of you all in learning how to take your power back that's what's happening with you all right now you're going through a lot of major changes in your life you got a lot of major arcana here somebody's getting their fire back somebody is being a lot more assertive and taking care of themselves first you know learning how to nourish and nurture yourselves first Pouring your own water, that cistern, into your own dry spaces so that you're not looking for it in other people outside of you, right? You're not coming off as thirsty, right? That is what I have for you, Aquarius. So continue vibrating high. Finish out this cycle strong so that you can expand, 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 expand. Because Source is trying to send new money your way. And so that's what you want to be in a position to receive so that you can accomplish your humanitarian efforts. Okay? That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.